Yeah, Can brother. you give us 1 Peter 1, 18, please? For as much as you know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. The word redeemed means to be ransomed, to be purchased. You were not purchased back. God did not purchase you with silver or gold or corruptible things or some conversation, vain conversation, some uh, fables or some, some tradition from your fathers but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Why would God sacrifice his son on your behalf and my behalf? Can you see through the eyes of God how valuable and how precious we are that he has given the life of his son as a sacrifice a substitute for us so that we are set free from slavery of hell for eternity and giving us, and giving us heaven as an eternal home. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you. And that is why it's so important that we understand what the word of God says. And that's why I want to share that the first word, imagine God's love is so great that the first word that a human being ever heard from God after creation was be blessed. Be blessed. The human ear ever heard the first word from God is be blessed. All blessings come from God. And that is the blessing. Not a blessing, the blessing. Remember, the devil can't bless. Praise God. Let me give you one uh, Genesis 1, 26 to 28. Put it please, Papa. Shamini. On, on the screen, Baba. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. You know, the good news is God has blessed man to have dominion and therefore every man, every woman is called to be a leader. You are supposed to have dominion. Everyone. Not only Adam. But from Adam, everyone. So, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So, God created man in his own image then in the image of God created him, he, him. The image of God created he, him, male and female, created he, them. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
So when God says, God bless them, remember the blessing of the Lord means the power to prosper, the power to excel. The word excel means to move to the highest point possible in anything desired. I repeat again, the blessing of the Lord means the power to prosper and excel. And the word excel means to reach to the highest point possible in anything desired. Now, what my brother uh, Ryan was talking about the alcohol, somebody can take the word alcohol as wine or somebody can take that same word alcohol as a wine that I desire. Praise God. So let me tell you what is the meaning of the word desire. So once you understand desire, then the question comes, do I want to take wine or do I don't want to take wine? The word desire is so important because I can desire, listen to this, I can desire to excel in all the illegal drugs that I can buy. But that is not prospering because those drugs will kill you. I repeat again, I can desire to excel in all the illegal drugs I can buy, but that prospering, that's not prospering because those drugs can kill me and will kill me. To excel is to excel in the revelation of the word. Wow. To get the understanding of the word. It means to prosper in my spirit, in my soul, in my body, financially, socially, and in my family. And how does it happen? This prospering of the whole package is the result of the blessing. So blessing is the root and all that I see is manifested is the fruit of the blessing, which is the root. So when Adam disobeyed God and ate the fruit, the ground was cursed. But before the disobedience, the same ground was blessed. So when it was cursed, what happened? The same ground which was fertile to produce hundredfold harvest has now got into a curse and curse brings hardship, toil, and that becomes a way of life because it is under curse. And that's why the Lord said, now you will work hard out of the sweat of your brow. And even after working hard, along with the crop, you will grow thorns and thistles. Now the Bible says that Jesus redeemed us from the curse of the law, having been made a curse for us. So how did Jesus redeem us from the curse? What God said in Genesis, can you put that problem? Genesis 3. One minute, brother, sorry, one minute. Um, what do you said? Genesis 3, okay. 17. Mm. Shall I read or? Yeah, read it. You read it. And unto Adam, <laughs> he said, because thou has hearkened unto the voice of thy wife and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. 
cursed is the ground for thy sake in sorrow in sorrow shall thou eat of it all the days of thy life then thorns also and thistles shall it thorns. bring forth thorns correct yes yeah thorns correct thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee and thou shall eat the herb of the field in the Then, sweat in the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground for out of it was thou taken for dust thou for dust thou art and unto dust shall thou return so according to the word of god the curse came on adam and from adam came the curse on mankind that even though he works hard he will sweat and sweat but grow thorns and thistles and a day will come because the earth has been cursed and man was created out of the dust of the earth the curse came on his body and now his body became corrupted and that corrupted body will one day die and go back to the dust now put that galatian 313 baba okay let let us see how god reversed it through jesus galatian 313 Yeah yeah. Thank you uh, very much because it makes a big difference when we see it on the screen. Yes, read it baba. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us. For it is written cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. that the blessing of abraham might come on the gentiles through jesus christ that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith so christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being a cur- being made a curse for us so the the curse of thorns and thistles that man would be growing because of the disobedience jesus took the same thorns and thistles and made it a crown of thorns that came on his head and the blood began to spill on his forehead and the sweat of the brow which man had to work hard and bring forth the harvest that curse got destroyed forever through jesus's crown of thorns on his head so now we who are born again when we operate in the system of god we begin to no longer operate under curse but we are now blessed with abraham's blessings and that's why saint paul is instructing christians to labor with their hands so that we will have the seed to share with others because when you labor with your hands you will begin to grow your harvest and that harvest becomes a seed when you use it for others anything that you use it for others becomes a seed anything that you use it for yourself becomes the harvest mm. so now when you begin to labor with your hands believing that you are no longer under the curse but under the blessings of abraham you got so much plenty more to go and share it with others and that sharing with others becomes a seed that god has given so that you can use it for others need praise god praise god so now looking at the desire do you do do i want to walk in the blessings of god or 
fulfill the desire of alcohol and debate and argue and go and drink and activate the curse and bring self destruction in my life now remember the blessing works for the believer let me say that again the blessing works for the believer so if you are a person who is rooted in the word and all the time spiritually minded on the word then the blessings will always bring result and that's why what we pray is god bless me wrong prayer the right prayer is lord i thank you for making me a blessing to others so when you become the blessing of the lord and this becomes your mindset all the time praise god your life becomes so very beautiful every day of your life praise god I, brother listen. yeah yeah one minute huh? just one minute okay i am not blessed because i am healed but i am healed because i am blessed means what blessing is the root healing is the fruit i am not blessed because i am financially well off i'm financially well off today because i am blessed i am aware of the blessing and this blessing that i have received i want to share this blessing with others praise, praise god. god praise god so because of the blessing of the lord was what natalie was sharing from new zealand she understood that she is blessed and because she is blessed that virus dies instantly the moment it touches her body and therefore she is not found positive the blessing is helping us live a long healthy prosperous anointed satisfied life nothing broken nothing missing in our life so it is god's will for every human being on the face of the earth to have more than enough means what we are so much blessed that we have so much more to go and share with others so when you have a blessing mindset remember it will do more than you and i can do on our own but if a person is only interested in god please bless me then he is still living in selfishness but a person is saying lord i thank you for making me to be a blessing now all the resources will begin to multiply much more than before praise god praise god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus now what happens is things in life are distorted twisted and they are taken out of shape because the devil doesn't want you to know that you are a blessing he doesn't want you to know that the anointing that you carry can destroy his kingdom in no time okay if i sneeze right now what will people say shamini ye yeah, not feeling very coronavirus <laughs> i asked the wrong person <laughs> normally what do people say before covid 19 god bless you god bless you brother ah. bless yeah. you bless you now do you get blessed because you sneezed what brother 
does a person get blessed because he sneezed no now why do people say that i don't know they say bless you <laughs> because <laughs> because the devil wants us to be deceived there's no reason you don't get blessed because you you sneeze linus brother linus Uh, I think he's not here. He's maybe outside, brother, somewhere else. Brother, I'm here, brother. He's gone. Okay, praise God. Yeah. Why do people say when somebody sneezes, people say bless you? I believe it's 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 uh, it's become like I I really don't know the true meaning, but it's become like it's customary for us to say that uh, maybe an opportunity to bless that person at that time. So, so what if I cough? Sorry? Can I share something? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Actually, my uh, grandmother used to say that uh, my great grandmother, rather, she used to say that when a person sneezes, their heart stops for a second. So when you say "God bless you," they get blessed again. I'm not too sure how far it is true, but uh, this is what this is how it came up to say when somebody sneezes, you say "God bless you." Oh. <laughs> oh. Shantala was it yes, you Yes papa Yes papa Can you just please erase that from your mind Yes papa What your grandmother said God said Be blessed and be fruitful and multiply. You are not blessed because somebody said bless you. You are blessed because God said you are blessed. Yes, so you are well in your spirit. Now. Ah, that you know now. Good. So you better stick to what you know now, not then. Shantala, Shantala, did you hear that? <laughs> Yes, Papa, I heard you. Jesus said to Martha, "Martha, Martha." <laughs> he called her name twice. That's why I'm calling your name twice. Okay, brother. So somebody sneezed. So we don't need to say bless you. Nothing. Not not anything. So Shamini, I just want to ask, brother. <laughs> i just told you how people have distorted mm. and twisted the truth out of shape and we have used the word mm. do you get blessed because you sneezed no no not at all yes i don't know today only or, or, i or, 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 thinking about or, that or do you get blessed because the word of god says that when a person is delighting in god's word day and night he is like a tree planted by the rivers of living water Let's change that now. People who mm -hmm. sneeze, they are they are like trees planted by living waters, so that now, they can swim day and night. And in the while swimming, they sneeze. While they come out, they sneeze. When they go to sleep, they sneeze, and they keep sneezing, and their leaves will never run dry. Yeah, in 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 Tamil, they will say when I, I from the childhood I listened this one, brother. In Tamil, they will say when I sneeze, "Esve rachiyum." That means. Uh, 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 he already gave salvation, but every time we sneeze, we are asking for salvation like that. Now only I realized that. So now you because realize, right? Yeah, yeah. So, because so of this now question. That, now, now you realize. Then why are you asking me again the question? So sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no. Are you trying to put me into confusion? <laughs> no, no, brother. No, brother. She's. No. Brother, she's emptying all those all those statements, those tables that came across. I was past. wondering how come the lawyer did not come. To <laughs> I was just waiting. Let the me put some more pressure. Let me just put some more pressure. The lawyer, when I was calling his name, he did not come. But when I'm putting pressure, he comes. You're just removing everything. So, so now we know what we should say, what we should not say, and when we should shut our mouth. When somebody sneezes, let them continue to keep sneezing. That's it. But 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 isn't isn't Ryan's questions always bringing 
deeper understanding oh yes brother praise god yes absolutely yes. I, and, and i'll tell you the the greatest uh, this thing is about the word desire yeah i can desire after god giving me everything i can use the money and blow up the money god has prospered me in my business it's my money i earned it this was my words life is short let me enjoy it i wanted to retire at 45 because i was earning money at a high speed so i will go and do what i want because it's my money is god now what am i doing amplifying sin and when i'm amplifying sin is it going to bring destruction amplify sins god amen yes and what is the true meaning of the word blessing like Empower. jesus said to like jesus said to simon flesh and blood did not reveal it to you but my father revealed it to you and therefore you are no longer simon but you are petros so when you receive a revelation from god you begin to prosper in every area of your life in your personal life of your spirit soul body in your finances in your socially in your relationship in your family it's all the whole package of blessing praise god praise god thank imagine, you jesus imagine jesus taking the crown of thorns on his head and is bleeding and the curse of thorns and thistles has been cancelled for us forever so that from now on when we work it the hard labor that we put in will always prosper and how we have come up with a new idea you sneeze and you get blessed what jesus did for you on the cross with thorns and thistles has got nothing to do keep on sneezing and keep on getting blessed praise god amen praise god so when 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 you are when you are blessed when you are blessed when you are blessed you are getting healed you when you are blessed you are getting healed now which one is uh, which one uh, what is the difference what is the difference between between being healed and being well being healed and being well okay being healed means being healed is instantaneous instantly we get healed but being well is to constantly and continuously stay in the word of god meditating the word of god so that you are maintaining your healing 24 by 7 every second so, every minute so, every so hour. being well means you are continuously healthy yes and being healed means you were sick yeah. but now you are getting healed praise god so which one is better being one. well being well now when you are blessed are you going to be healed or are you well being well being or being well same be- being well being well yes so so now when the sister was sharing and she said i would take a handful of medicines every morning now was she enjoying the blessings of god no why not because she had a lot of things in her mind which was not according to the word of god so what did she realize she realized not my husband not my family i need to change and get inside the garden mm-hmm. okay very good very good and the moment she got inside the garden she found everything had begin to change so now now she is no longer being healed now she is being well so when you see healing it was available in both covenants in the old covenant in the new covenant so even in the old covenant 
God never had this intention for anyone to be sick. He always wants people to be healthy. And that's why healing is available in the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. God wants man to be blessed. He wants man to be fruitful, multiply, and have dominion and replenish the earth. And this is just what the believer's life is all about. What is, your, what is the believer's life? The blessing of the Lord. So let us make this declaration. Thank you, Father, that your word says be blessed, be fruitful and multiply and have dominion and replenish the earth. Lord, I thank you for this written word and promise in Christ. And now I declare the blessing of the Lord is mine. I believe it. And therefore, every moment of my life, I walk in the blessing of the Lord. And now in Jesus' name, I declare because of the blessing of the Lord, all my needs are met. My spirit, my soul, my body, every need is met and I am a blessing everywhere I go in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Okay. You, Brother John. Thank you, brother. Praise God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh.